Hello everybody, this is TTT and I want to welcome you to the preview release of the Nimitz version 09 to be out on 22nd of November. I want to start with showing you um, the new stuff of the Nimitz, the new textures and the removal of most of the global variables by it and what this means for you. So for this we go to the multiplayer editor I did some bug fixing with the uh, multiplayer editor and um, changed the way the high level modules flight deck, hunger and briefing are working so they work nicely on dedicated server and hosted co-op missions and you no longer spawn in the water and need to manually do this. At least I hope I achieved that. I'm not so completely sure. I tested it a bit but um, <laughs> We will see. I will see on your bug reports if this actually was a success or not. So I um, put together a small sample mission, the uh, simple Altis mission here. It is included in the downloads in the uh, MP missions folder of the Nimitz. You see here a Nimitz placed on the map. I gave it a name, uh, the Nimitz. We could also give it a Oops, the somewhat annoying steam overlay got in the way. We could also give it a description, USS Nimitz for a change. Uh, you see the regular modules, which is the hangar and three planes synchronized against the hangar. The high level flight deck module synchronized against three planes, four planes, uh, plus four playable uh, pilots in this mission. We have the towing module for the UGV, which unfortunately we still we there is still a lack of a dedicated towing tractor on ARMA 3, but I hope we can resolve this uh, by the end of the year. And then we have um, the, uh, the boat module so that the boat station works as well. In addition to this carrier which is new in version 09. You can have multiple other carriers like here. Uh, I nicknamed it uh, Ike or I named the variable gave it the name Ike. Um, we could give it the description Dwight D. Eisenhower and here I have four pilots again synced to the flight deck so they will appear on the flight deck of the Eisenhower. I have the ambience module synced against the Ike so I do not place any further planes of it. Uh, the cut 1 and cut 2 parking places will be populated, the aft will be populated and a helicopter will spawn here plus some planes on the hangar and to complete this setup I put another carrier here, the George Washington, uh, again synchronized against ambience for the planes on the deck and uh, the four maritime pilots from the foot arm um, maritime units and um, synchronized against the flight deck. Well enough talking for now, let's take a look at the new island textures. Oh, I better go back and restart the mission, it's more safe. Um, let's start for a change. Oh no, let's start on the Nimitz. It's, there are not so many um, planes around and we can just pick one of the few that's standing on the flight deck. Okay, here you see. I put the a um, ellipse um, or elliptical thingy uh, as an icon for the Nimitz so I can better find it when I'm looking on the map. Uh, there is no dedicated icon for the carrier right now. So here we are, we have uh, four planes on the deck and uh, as I said this is the new texture for the island. I hope you like it. I think uh, Aspo J who did most of the textures uh, by now. Um, basically all of the exterior textures uh, did an awesome job and I want to thank him here 
a lot for his efforts and I hope uh, he will have time uh, to update the interior textures also a bit. Um, also my thanks to Blood of the Scribe who provided the first go of the interior textures and also to Soldier2390 who uh, gave some insight on how to use the um, secondary texture schemes and um, yeah, and also to John Spartan and Saul for uh, giving me some idea about the RV mats. Uh, the RV mat files themselves are not included, uh, but the standard ones in this release because I had some problems with reflections and uh, basically the flight deck turned into a glass, uh, into a mirror, <laughs> and uh, this didn't look too good. And so I thought uh, I saved you from that side and uh, do not include it in the uh, version 09. But work is ongoing for that. So you see here one of the changes I did. I added the carrier's name that you give the thing in the editor to the um, to the catapult. So here we are on catapult number one of the Nimitz. We activate the action like always. The jet blast deflector raises. Smoke comes up. I increase the engine thrust a bit. I salute and here we go taking off from the limits. Yeah when while flying here from uh, one carrier to the next I think there is some time uh, to explain what is going behind this uh, going on behind the scenes. Um, so there is quite a team assembled around the Nimitz right now and uh, people do various things like scripting, which I do most of the work, uh, textures by Aspo J, but also by Blood of Subscribe and by Soldier 2390. Um, Top Gun mission provided by Rory Pamphilon, so I'm very happy for that and uh, maybe it will appear in this download, it's not decided yet. Um, otherwise it's a good thing to check out that mission. If you're into air-to-air -air combat in uh, Armour 3, it's well worth it. Um, yeah, I hope I did not forget anyone here. Yeah, Army in for the testing. I nearly forgot that, of course. <laughs> and uh, that's a good team that has assembled here. And um, what is going on behind the hood, under the hood of the Nimitz right now? As I told you, I did... Um, I did remove the global variables from the Nimitz, so there were a dozen or so global variables uh, using or providing functionality between or sharing information between different scripts of the Nimitz. So the thing worked by changing the value of a global variable, making it public and then uh, using it in another script. I uh, changed that to make all of these variables built into the object, the Nimitz object itself, and thus you can have uh, multiple carriers on the map that are uh, functional to some degree. Of course they don't move, <laughs> we all know that and they probably will never move. And um, yeah, now we should be close to the George Washington. Uh, maybe to the globals, um, there is a transitioning function in TTT func global. It uses the um, it uses a global variable, the TTT Nimitz carriers global variable, which holds an array of all of the Nimitzes, and with help of that array, uh, it basically ties the old scripts to the uh, no longer um, available global variables. And um, there is a slight hiccup if you use the build in F18 tail hook, uh, then uh, the the um, sorry, the animation for the wires will no longer be working, and you will get an error. Uh, but I already worked around this issue, and it's posted in the um, in the README text for the version 09 now. I need to find that carrier. Uh huh. It's uh, four clicks north. 
northwest. So let's turn there. Oh, and if you uh, are considered about my lack of precision in the flying style, I use mouse and keyboard right now. Uh, usually for the testing and anything, I'm a little bit too lazy to hook up the joystick and everything, and so I just go with that. Oh, I had the gear down all the time, and I approach from the wrong direction. The island should be on the right side. Anyway, here you see the Nimitz, or in this t uh <laughs> In this mode now, the George Washington, even though the numbers are still from the Nimitz and nothing like this has been changed for now. Um, but expect that to change sometime in the future, so that every carrier has its own number tag and uh, you can use it a little bit more easily or differentiate between the carriers more easily. Uh, now I totally ruined my um, my approach to that carrier. Now this will be a very high risk landing. Do not try at home. Okay, it will not be a landing, it will be a board. <laughs> Sorry for that. But uh <laughs> didn't quite work out. Anyway, so I hope uh, you trust me that the wires and everything are working on the carrier even through it's a second carrier. I do not want to bore you with more the fumbling at or uh, fumbles uh, for landing the uh, F-18 on the carrier. Um, maybe some uh, information about uh, version 10 uh, which will be out in two weeks from now, like on 6th of December. And um, I hope I have finished the two missions. Um, I've been writing a bit sample missions for an amphibious landing from the Nimitz, as well as a sample from uh, um, of traffic ambience. So basically, starting and landing planes. I did make some progress with the mission, but I finally discovered there was something uh, I need to change before releasing it, and so it hasn't made it for for version zero nine. Now this approach is quite as horrible as the other one, but I, anyway, I hope I don't fall over the board and oof, I just made it, but it was quite a lucky catch. Which wire did I get? Oh, I got actually the first wire, which is quite bad, but uh, anyway, um, <laughs> here we go. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this short video and have fun with the limits. Bye bye.